Now let's move to elements of culture. The first one, history. Over 2,000 years ago, the Roman orator Cicero remarked that history provides the guidance of daily life. The stories from the past offer the members of a culture part of their identity, values, rules of behavior, and the like. So, History highlights the culture's origins and tells its members what is deemed important and identifies the accomplishments of the culture of which they can be proud. Example The lesson of the Holocaust The Spanish conquest of Mexico The building of the Great Wall of China American Revolution. All those stories that are special to their respective cultures and help explain contemporary perceptions held by members of those cultures. Second, religion. A dominant, organized religion within which salient beliefs and activities, rites, rituals, taboos, and ceremonies can be given meaning and legitimacy. Parks, Longini, and Young, 1997. The influence of religion can be seen in the entire fabric of a culture, since it serves so many basic functions, including social control, conflict resolution, reinforcement of group solidarity, explanations of the unexplainable and emotional support. Third, values. Critical to the maintenance of culture as a whole because they represent the qualities that people believe are essential to continuing their way of life. Peoples and by 2009. Culturally defined standards of desirability, goodness, and beauty that serve as broad guidelines for social living. Messionis, 1998. Keyword of cultural values is guidelines. Example, Korean and American Indian cultures. The elderly are highly respected and revere while United States the emphasis is on youth. Fourth, social organizations, sometimes referred to as social system or social structures, represent the various social units contained within the culture. Such institutions including the family, government, schools, and tribes. It helped the members of culture organize their lives. Social structures reflect our culture. For example, whether we have kings and queens, or presidents and prime ministers within our social structure. Furthermore, culture assigns roles to the various players. Expectations about how individuals will behave, what they will stand for, and even how they will dress. And the last element of the culture is language. Without our capacity for complex language, human culture as we know it could not exist. Heavyland and his colleague, 2005. Not only does language allow the members of a culture to share ideas, feelings, and information, but it is also one of the chief methods for the transmission of culture. In any languages, most words, meanings, grammar, and syntax 
where the identification marks of a specific culture. And the characteristics of culture is the following. Culture is learned. Culture is shared. Culture is transmitted from generation to generation. Culture is based on symbols. Culture is a dynamic. And culture is an integrated system. Culture is the system of shared beliefs, values, customs, behaviors, and artifacts that the members of society use to cope with their world and with one another, and that are transmitted from generation to generation through learning. Culture is the traditions and customs that govern behavior and beliefs that are transmitted through learning. Culture is learned. Oh man! I just can't catch any fish with this thing. Hi son. What's going on? I'm trying to catch some fish but this thing just doesn't work. I can help you with that. That is a power drill. It's not a tool for catching fish, although if we needed you to build a cabinet, that would be the perfect tool. Here is the perfect tool for catching fish. It is called a fishing rod. It is just a stick with a piece of string. Even so, it is a better tool for catching fish than that drill you are holding. I think my tool would have been faster. Electricity hasn't been invented yet, but if it had, you would have electrocuted yourself trying to fish with a power tool, observe. Here's a fish now. Today not only have you learned how to catch a fish, you also learn patience. I think I will become a vegetarian until someone invents electricity. If it isn't learned, it isn't culture. Culture is shared. You need to eat all your vegetables Miranda. Think of the starving children in Africa. You had better eat yours too son. Remember the starving children in Nazi Germany. Children nowadays have no idea how hard we had it during the war. Culture is shared. Culture is an attribute of individuals as members of groups. Culture is symbolic. A symbol is something, verbal or non-verbal, that arbitrarily and by convention stands for something else, with which it has no necessary or natural connection. A symbolic gesture. Another symbolic gesture. Gestures that have meaning outside of language are called embolims. Language is a symbol system. There is no necessary or natural connection between the sounds we utter and the meaning they have for us. Blah 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 blah. Culture is symbolic. Symbolic thought is unique to humans and is crucial to cultural learning. Culture is all-encompassing. Culture, as defined by anthropologists, encompasses features that are sometimes regarded as trivial or unworthy of serious study. The most interesting and significant cultural forces are those that affect people every day of their lives particularly those that influence children during enculturation. Culture is all-encompassing. Anthropologists take a broad view of culture to include even seemingly trivial things. Culture is integrated. We already have a religion. But our God is very powerful. He give heap big blessings on his people. Your God says we can only worship him. Your God says we are separate from the earth and sky, the plants, and all the animals. That's correct. You're special in God's eyes. God placed men on the earth and made them rulers over it, to do whatever they want with the earth, plants and animals. We believe we are part of the earth, the sky, 
and the plants and animals. We are their brothers and sisters. We are not better than the buffalo, the buffalo is our brother. That's a load of primitive nonsense. Your beliefs are pagan. You and your people will all go to hell when you die if you do not accept my religion. Your religion, your talking leaves, and your mean-spirited, jealous, angry God do not fit in with our way of life. We do not believe there is this hell you describe, great spirit is not angry, nor vengeful, nor jealous, but loving and kind. Great spirit gives us everything we need, great spirit does not punish us, nor withhold those things we need, if we do not obey laws. Great spirit knows we are like children, this religion you bring does not make sense. Our way of life does not need another god, especially not one who is so different and does not fit with our ways, take your god and your talking leaves and go. You are welcome here but your god and your religion are not. Your way of life does not fit with my religion, either. I shall leave. But if you should change your mind, send a messenger to the mission, and I will come. Don't hold your breath, pale face. Cultures are integrated. They are organized around a set of core values, key, basic, or central values. New ideas that don't fit with these core values are rejected. Conclusion, cultures are a chair system of symbols, beliefs, attitudes, values, expectation, and norms of behavior. The way of life of an entire society, such as manners, language, rituals, norms of behavior, and system of beliefs. The combination of thoughts, feelings, attitudes, which are manifest and shared by the group through symbols, communication, and social patterns. <laughs>